Hytale has confirmed at least 6 different zones for the final game and in today's video we will be talking about zone 2. My name is Osni and if you are not familiar with my channel I basically post a lot of Hytale content every week so if you like Hytale and if you are interested in seeing more videos like this make sure you are subscribed to the channel. By looking at my stats I know that most of you guys that are watching my videos aren't actually subscribed so if you are interested in more content like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Now, unlike Zone 1 where Itel has given us a lot of information about it, I made a video about everything we know about Zone 1. Uh, you guys can check it out in the playlist link that is in the description after you watch this video. My point here is that Itel has given a lot of information about Zone 1, but it didn't actually give much information about Zone 2. What we know so far is that Zone 2 will be one of the free spawn points in Itel, meaning you can, when you start your adventure, you can spawn in zone 1, 2 or 3, so zone 2 will be one of the starting points. Zone 2 is also known as Howling Sands and keep in mind that this might not be the final name, they might decide to change the name once the game comes out, but as of right now from the screenshots and from the information that Hytale has given us, we can say that it's called Howling Sands. And this zone is one of the 6 zones of Orbis and this zone consists of pretty much sand dunes, rocky canyons, savannas and other desert terrains and just like Zone 1, Zone 2 has also got a underground system. So in zone 2 you'll be able to find underground sandstone caves that contain hot magma and a lot of treasures. In this zone 2 we can find a lot of friendly and also not so friendly NPCs and we'll be talking about them in just a second. Before we do get into the NPCs that exist in zone 2, we are gonna mention all the biomes that you'll be able to play on when you spawn in zone 2. In this zone you can find savannas, deserts, canyons and sandstorm caves. So pretty exciting stuff and now going over to the mobs that you can see in zone 2 you can find a antelope, cacti, crocodile, ferns. The ferns are going to be your friends. Now if you look at zone 1 there are the Quebex, which are speculated to be your friends. You have to help out the Quebex by fighting the Trorks. And in Zone 2, your friends will most likely be the Ferrans, so you will be able to establish a friendly relationship with them and help them. Maybe they give you rewards. You have to wait until the game comes out, but that is most likely what is going to happen. Then we have horses, meerkats, warfog, saber toothed tigers. The Scarex that come in many different shape and forms, snakes, vultures, zombies, flamingos, hyenas, and now for the big boys or the bosses, however you want to call them, we have one of them being the Void Spawn and then this one we don't have an actual image right now but it is the Sand Empress, you guys can see a screenshot in the screen right now and we don't have much information about this, we just know that it's most likely going to be a sort of a spider and it's probably going to be some sort of boss. Now that's pretty much it for Zone 2, we don't have much to talk about, if you want to check out everything we know about Zone 1, the link is in the description, Zone 2 is probably one of my favorite zones because it's a desert you know it looks pretty cool there's some pretty cool NPCs as well so I do hope you guys had enjoyed the video once again subscribe to the channel for more high tail content and I'll see everyone in the next video also don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe I already said subscribe but subscribe and uh, yeah peace out